Hi everyone, welcome to another in a series of easy learning variants, at least for me. This one is called Relax in the Sauna. It says normal Sudoku rules apply. That means one to nine have to appear in every one of these three by three boxes, in every column, and in every row. There's also some killer cages, so these two cells sum to 13, these three to nine, these three cells to eight, and then Digits and cages can't repeat, and then thermometers must strictly increase from bulb to tip. The bulb is a circle end, the tip is the other end. And with that, let's restart and see how well I do. So 13 and 2 cells must be 4, 9, 5, 8, or 6, 7. Well, the smallest of those digits is 7. If this is 7, then 8, 9, 10 is forced. That doesn't work, so the higher of the digits must be in this cell. We have 7, 8, 9, and then 4, 5, 6 there. Because 6, 7, 5, 8, 4, 9, exactly in the order given. Now, if this is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If this cell is 5, I end up with 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and that doesn't work either. This cell is now forced to be a 4, it can't be anything else. That place is the 9. If this is 4 on a 6 cell thermometer, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I can literally write in the rest of it. 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, I've got 9, 4, 5 here. I need 1, 2, and something. I need 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, and there's a 6 cell thermo. I can literally write in the rest of those contents. 6, 7, 8. Now, these must be 2, 3, 4 to sum the 9. That's, that's 5, 3, 1 are out. And if it's a 1, I need 8 and 2 cells. But a 5 and a 6 have already been used, and I can't use double 4. So this is 2, 3, 4 like that. But what goes here? Now, 8 needs a 3 cell cage. It's also in a thermometer. They can't use a 2. So, 2 and 2 cells at sum to 6, which is 5, 1, doesn't work. 2, 4, 2 doesn't work. There's a 2 already, and it's a repeat. And 2, double 3 doesn't work because that breaks Sudoku and the cage rule. So, I need 1 with 2 digits at sum to 7. They don't, they don't include a 2, and the only other way to make that is 3, 4, and I know the order. So 1, 3, 4 go like that. This is now cannot start with anything shorter than a 5, and it's a 5 cell length thermo. Well, guess what? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I can literally write that in. This now can't be 2 or 3. It's a length 6 thermo that doesn't include 2 or 5. Well, I have 1, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I know exactly the order they go. 9, I can literally write that in. Okay, what else can I do? Uh, the remaining thermometers, this one's a 5 cell thing that cannot contain 1 or 8. Well, if this was a 5, then 6, 7, 8, 9 end up like that. I think that's still possible, isn't it? No, no. This can't be 8 because this is an 8. So, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's ruled out. Therefore, this cannot be anything higher than 6 because it sees 8, 7. So, I'm down to 6. But it can't be, so this is literally 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's the only thing that's left. So I go in descending order, and I end up with this problem. Well, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 runs into an issue. 
Let's see, do I have a problem with this thermometer? Maybe. This could still be nine. This has to be six. This is five. Can't be seven or eight. This is six. This now can't be higher than five. It still could be four. Or three, I think. No. This can't be one, so it must be at least a two. Can't be three or four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Except if this cell was a five, then six, seven, eight, and that's an issue. So it can't be one, three, four, or five. It must be two, and if this was anything higher than six, that would be double digits. So that's a two, it's forced. Now this one could be three or five, I think. Remember, this can't be 6, and it can't be 7, because that's forced to be an 8, which it can't be. So 3, 5, 4, 5. This is 6, regardless. Not necessarily. It could be 5. Let's see. This now can't be 5, right? If this was six and I have five, four, three, and I think that's still possible, so. Oh, this can't be six because there's a six in the box. So it can't be six, seven, eight. We've already established this can't be five. Because then you end up with four, three, and that's an issue because there's nothing to put in this cell, so that one must be nine. I don't think these are resolved yet. I need three, four, five, six, seven. Well, we've established none of those cells can be seven. This can't be seven. The seven is placed in column one. I have one, two, three, four, seven. Well, those can't be nine, so this must be a nine. And therefore, well, we've known that's a nine for a while. These are one, which one must go there. Five and six. One, seven, two, eight, nine, right? This ends up being three, four, or five down here. This can't be six, so that ends up being a six. It's forced. It was very strained logic to get there, but. Okay, I think I can try classic Sudoku at this point. I need one, two, three, four, five for box seven. And see what I get out of it. Let's see. Four is here, three is here. And these cells can't be four. So one of those two, in other words, that one, must be four, and that's a three, isn't it? Let's see. This can't be one, three, four. It could be two, five. But it can't be six or seven. And if this was higher than that, eight and nine runs into a problem with this nine. So this is two or five, that much we know. But as for which one it is, I don't know yet. This one can't be 
can't be 1, 3, 4, so it's 2. Or 5. Or 6, because 8, 9, that way around would still work. Let's see, what else can I do? In box 2, I have 1, 3, 5, 6, 9. I need 2, 4, 7, and 8. Fill up the box. This ends up as 7, 8, so... So 2, 4 is now pigeonholed. Let's see. Okay, these are going to be from 1, 5, 6, 7, 8. Which will finish row 3. Of which, that can only be 5 or 8, because it sees 1... Yeah. Whoops. How does that see 1? Oh, it sees 1 in the box. And 6 by column, and 7 by box. So that one's down to 5 or 8, with a 7, 8 pair looking at it. It's an 8. Five, excuse me. So this must be a six. Now I end up with two cells here that are both one. Okay. I'm gonna scan something. This two, three, four, seven, eight. I need one, five, six, and nine. How do we don't get rid of eights? Okay, this makes a lot more sense now. Let's see, these cannot include 3, 4, 6, 7, 9. They are over 1, 2, 5, 8. These cannot include 1, 4, 6, or 7. They are 2, 3, 4, 5, or 9 in some fashion. See, this obviously can't be 9, because then that's a double-digit number. This can't be 2, because one's zero. I've got a 2, 4. This is 5, 6, and something. 2, 3, 4, 9, 7. So those are going to be from 5, 6, and 8. Okay, box 8, I have 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, oh, 6 can't be here or here, that 6 is actually placed in column 4, which doesn't help me with much else that I can immediately see, but that means 4, 5, and 7 are left to place. in the box. This ends up being a 4, 7, because neither of those can be 5, so that's a 5. 2, 3 is here, and the thermometer tells me the order, actually. So this can't be 5, it must be a 9, and that still fits. See the seven and the column resolves the eight. Is that seven? Okay, what's left? This could actually still be six because that could be an eight. Except there's an eight in the box. So if this was six, this couldn't be seven. It can't be eight and it can't be nine. So this can't be six. I don't have enough digits left. That gives me a 2, 5 on the thermo, which tells me this cell is an 8. D 
these cells are one, two, three, eight in some order. But the eight's placed, it can only go here. These are one, two, three in some order. Absolutely fascinating is there's another one, two, three triple in row seven. I just discovered to go along with the one in box nine. Let's see, five is not rolled out of either of those cells yet. Okay, what other Sudoku can I do from this position? I look by row, maybe that's helpful. I've got three seven left. No, I have something in a seven, six and seven actually. For row four, this can't be a seven, so it must be a six. That does a lot. Okay, this has to be a one, that's a six. Eight, six, this is not six. I'm left with five, nine. In row three, and that's it for the top three rows, I think. I have oh, one, six, eight, nine in box six. I need two, three, four, five, seven. Some combination of those cells. Now that one sees four, five, seven, and two. It's a hidden three. Those two. Those end up as a one, three pair, which means this. Neither of those are three. Not two or four, that's not four. Seven, two, five. We'll actually place the seven. Column five. This is a four. I have one, five, and eight that's left in row four. One, five, we'll place this cell as an eight. These two cells are going to be one, two, five in some order, I believe. Now, this could actually be two or five, and so could that, but one, two, five, triple in box four is going to be the key to the rest of the puzzle. This can't be five, therefore it must be a two. That unwinds the two fives, and now we end up with a problem because this is one five. Five, uh, three, two, one five. Did I miss assign something? Oh, that's a nine. I just mistyped something. I got lucky, and 18 minutes. This was not a pretty solve, but I got there.